You're now listening to The Shipper's Toolbox, presented by Refund Retriever. Hey guys, Brian from Refund Retriever here. So Amazon recently announced a new offering that has enormous implications for e-commerce. You know, Amazon has already changed the face of online merchandising with FBA and Amazon Prime, but now they're going to allow websites kind of harness that power of FBA on their own website. Merchants that use Fulfilled by Amazon FBA are going to be invited to add a new Buy with Prime button to their existing websites to really extend the benefits of Prime memberships beyond just that Amazon marketplace. The Prime, the Buy with Prime will be available by invitation only for merchants that are using FBA right now. They're going to be able to add that button to their online store pretty easily. And once live, the merchants will receive the shopper's order information and email to provide further customer service. Amazon says that the Buy With Prime is going to be easy to add to most existing direct-to-consumer online stores and be rolled out through 2022. So I assume if you're a big commerce or Shopify platform, there'll be an easy little plug-in that you just pop on there. Participating merchants will be able to display the Prime logo and the expected delivery date with a convenient and straightforward checkout process by using Amazon Pay. Amazon will also manage the returns for these uh, purchases. Buy with Prime will be a big jump for many sellers because Prime members, you know, they enjoy the trust and familiarity when they're shopping on Amazon, but now they can connect with that business directly on their own site. This move will significantly accelerate the growth of Amazon FBA. Amazon's going to need to expand and maintain their warehouse network to support the increased demand from this buy with Prime because this is probably going to be a pretty big deal. For merchants with inventory in Amazon fulfillment centers already, you, all you have to do is authorize Amazon to use your inventory stored in the fulfillment center to fulfill your buy with Prime orders. You also will link your Amazon Pay account to allow shoppers to use the shipping information and payment info that's stored in their Amazon account. People that are not using Amazon Pay with their direct-to-consumer sites will be directed to register for Amazon Pay when they're configuring this new Buy With Prime button. Buy With Prime's cost per unit will depend on various factors. It's going to include fulfillment, storage, payment processing, and service fees that are calculated per unit and the cost of returns will be included in the fulfillment fee. Merchants will pay for what they use and all fees except for those incurred for storage are going to be charged only after the merchant makes the sale. Amazon will explain the pricing in detail once the invite is sent to sellers. They really haven't told us any more about the pricing. If you have any questions about your Amazon FBA or you're looking for somebody to audit your Amazon inventory, Give us a call, 800-441-8085, or check out our website, refundretriever.com. Thanks a lot. Thank you for joining us on the Shipper's Toolbox. If you have any questions, visit our website, refundretriever.com. Feel free to reach out to us, 800-441-8085, for anything related to your FedEx or UPS invoices. Have a great day.